Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn, and today we are here at one of the newest restaurants in the Orlando area. It's Sicky's Garage. It's kind of a cool takeoff of its own little thing. It's not Ford's Garage, and uh, we figured we tried. There's like over 32 hamburgers in here, all kinds of great stuff. We'll give you a look, we'll give you a preview, and we're going to eat lunch here. So stay along, hope you enjoy it. Actually, it's right off of 192, very close to uh, Animal Kingdom, so right off of 192 West. Uh, mile marker near the, one of the genies here, so it's not too hard to. So there's a little look of the outside. Kind of cool at night too. It, they light up all the neon, and it kind of reminds you of just a nice old like 50s diner. But they got a little bit of everything in here. We picked up a menu yesterday. They've even got the football games on Sunday afternoons, the Sunday ticket. So let's take a look at it, and we'll see. All kinds of nice shirts in here too. Look at this. Really nice. How many do we have? I think he's uh, putting up table for us outside. Okay. Um, All kinds of cool stuff here. Look at that. Not bad. I gotta make sure I keep talking during this because they have the radio on. You don't want to get a copyright strike for the, any new YouTubers out there. Music is the. Uh, is the thing you always got to look out for. You'll get a copyright strike on your video and you won't be able to monetize it. So, got to keep talking, which is not a problem for me. A little look at the inside. Big inside. So, they said there's nine of these. There's one in South Dakota, North Dakota, Vegas. They opened up here in uh, almost a year now, in November. So, pretty nice place if you want to check it out. Only a stone's throw from Animal Kingdom on 192. Oh, so we got some cheese curds there from Wisconsin. Yeah, I like it. This is a Wisconsin-based place. That looks pretty good. So the nice thing, this is a Coca-Cola place. It was hard to tell whether it was or not. But you're talking about a tremendous menu. There's over 32 different burgers. They got meatloaf, meatloaf sandwiches. I decided to do what I call the owl sandwich, which is kind of weird. It's corned beef, um, the Reuben sandwich. But I don't get the corned beef. I just get the sauerkraut, the Thousand Island and Swiss cheese. It's kind of weird, but um, there's actually a restaurant in St. Petersburg that's supposed to name that sandwich after me because I, I, I do that from time to time. But here you can get the donut burger, glazed donut with the burger. Kerry's getting the wild hog burger. We'll show you that. A tremendous menu and definitely worth coming out. And they got awesome, they got beer on tap. I don't know if you beer. Lots of different desserts. Um, so many different varieties. And they're happy just to um, switch it up for you if you want to. Lots of sauces, wings. Just amazing menu. Um, not as big as Cheesecake Factory, but kind of close to it, I have to say. So here's what I got. That's the owl sandwich. That's normally a Reuben, but no meat. Nice sauerkraut. They have tater tots here, lots of different potatoes. Kerry got the wild hog. So what's on that one? Is that bacon or what's There's on? bacon, barbecue sauce, cheese. Wow. It's really good. So it's like you're taming that wild hog there. Oh yeah. All right. Looks good. So right up to tell you, I mean, I really do like Ford's Garage. Um, the menu here is much bigger. I mean, Ford's Garage is a little more, as I say, a Brooklyn Road schmaltzy, a little more schmaltzy with the lifts and the gasoline pumps and all that. Definitely a great place to come. But I think as far as menu goes and options, you definitely have a lot more here. And it's people here are real nice too. And uh, this is a franchise that's building up and you're gonna see more and more of these around. And uh, it's based in Wisconsin, so uh, you got this one right here in Kissimmee. And I'll show you more on the outside too, and we'll talk a little more about the food once we go along. What's funny is that a lot of the wings and a lot of the stuff, the meatloaf and you got mac and cheese and all that great stuff, they actually put paper towels on each table. So there's plenty of toppings and sauces to choose from. Kerry's going with the old favorite there, ketchup. I did the same. Hey, Hi everyone, this is the wife. I just want to see how he likes his sandwich thing. So let's see, let's give it a go. Really good. That looks really good. Nice and good? well done. Marble bread. It looks really good. How are the fries? Mm. Uh, tater tots, whatever they are. Nice and golden brown. Really, really well. Uh. Good. How are the cheese curds? They're good too. 
<laughs> Nothing like Wisconsin cheese. This place is based in Wisconsin. So what would you rate the place? Really good? Excellent? I would rate it like 10 out of 10. That's pretty good. Because there's a lot of options. They don't mind changing up the menu for you. You could upgrade. They got baked beans. They got salads. They got chicken. They got wings. Tremendous menu. I mean, I would show you the menu, but it's just too comprehensive. It's just you literally like six or seven pages. I know. Well, the food is really good so far. So. Yeah, I highly recommend it. And it's so close to Disney. I mean, this is considered Westgate, so it's not far from where the um, the Walmart is in Old Lake Wilson Road. So a big shout out to Lewis and Gina right near your home. Maybe next time we come down, we can meet here and have a little uh, dinner. And uh, That's a good idea. Yeah, I like that idea. I think they would like this place. I think so too. All right. Hi, Lewis and Gina. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. All right. Let's enjoy the food. Yep. Bye, everybody. So, hey, everybody, we're here with Troy, our server. He's going to give us a little history. He's awesome. Thank you. Uh, so, the history of Sickies is there are three guys working in their garage on their bikes and their cars, and they decided to call in sick to work. So, you know, they were cooking the burgers and, and drinking the beers, and neighbors came by and they tried it and they said, hey, this is so good you could you could sell it. So they started selling the burgers and beers out of their garage. And the next thing you know, they have Sickie's garage. That's amazing. I, I, that's an awesome story. I love that story. And they're still around these guys, right? Oh, yeah. They wow. They have several locations now. It started in Fargo, North Dakota. Nice. So did I drive them crazy with my special order with the sandwich? They oh, thought yeah. it was weird? Nah. What did they say? They just thought they just thought that the meat made the sandwich, but they've seen worse. So, <laughs> thanks, Troy. You're welcome. Appreciate Absolutely you taking welcome. the time. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So this was really nice. People were very accommodating. I'm going to put the address up over here right now. So next time you guys are in Orlando, or you come to Disney, or you're near Celebration, it's definitely a great place. And uh, if you live around here, it's even better. You can come on right out and. Lots to do up and down 192. So here's the address, and uh, tell them Al sent you. All right, folks, love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye bye. Oh, and don't forget to ask about the Al sandwich. That's the corned beef without the corned beef, and the sauerkraut, and the Thousand Isle dressing, and the Swiss cheese. All right, take care. Bye bye.